everybody, it's me. I'm back. Uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I I've made a video, but I wanted to stay account uh, I wanted to stay accountable. And here's my progress report. And my progress report is that there's none. I had a couple really really bad weeks. Uh, work was stressful. Life was stressful, and I know I'm making excuses, but the good news is I did not lose. I did not gain any weight. I just didn't. I barely lost like a pound between the two days, the two weeks. So it hasn't been the greatest of weeks, but I'm back on the wagon. So hopefully that's gonna make a difference. Uh, this is hard. <laughs> This is really hard and I'm so hungry and all I want is cookies and uh, it was really tough especially because we had the Vancouver Wine Festival and Nestor's Market had the most amazing amazing coconut brie with pros uh, prosciutto and and this really good baguette that went really really well with cheese and that went really really well with wine so oh my god temptation is everywhere oh. But the good news is I did not gain any weight. I just kind of stay flat, maybe like a pound. So, yeah, this is tough. And I'm learning a lot about myself, about how I eat under stress. Like, stress is a huge trigger for me. I don't even notice that I'm eating. Um, my son gave me the scare of my life. He decided to uh, hide in Walmart for like 10 minutes and I'm freaking out because I thought I lost them and when I came home it's like a bag of cookies, a bag of chips is just gone and uh, that's my comfort and I need to find different ways to comfort myself because life is a stressful especially when you have a, a little kid who's as mischievous as my baby in Van City uh, so yeah things are gonna go south sometimes I can hit up food when I'm stressed I can hit up food when I'm lonely or where I'm angry and God knows I I'm such an emotional person so that is definitely something that I've learned about myself and you might think that it's like well you know like you didn't know that about yourself I'm like well I didn't but I do now so another thing that's going to help this week is that I'm starting an exercise regime I uh, uh, I'm going to be starting 20 minutes a day three times a week. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm definitely going to do something more drastic than just going for a walk with Dylan or just, you know, getting my thousand, my 10,000 steps a, a day. So, uh, I'm going to start with yoga on Mondays, uh, stretching and, uh, yoga ladies on Tuesdays, on, on Wednesdays and Zumba on, uh, Fridays. So we'll see how that goes, and the whole uh, the idea is that I start adding more every day and moving up to four, and not just three times a week that I do exercise. So that's where I'm at. I'm a little bummed out, I'll be honest with you. It's so easy to relapse on the things that I find comforting, and on the things that I find easy, and this is a lifestyle change. This is something that... It's never gonna be easy. I I love food. I food makes me happy more than anything else. So I, I'm I'm frustrated, and I uh, it's hard when the one thing that you have gone through all your life as comfort is now I wouldn't say the enemy, but it's definitely not your friend anymore. You can't make friends with that anymore. So, it's hard. It's really, really hard. So, uh, that's where I'm at. Comment, support. Leave it below. I could, I could use a little pick-me-up, I'll be honest. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I promise next time it won't be two weeks. I'll be more diligent. Bye.